Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany, brought to you by Bravant, and we are joined right now in the Amazon booth by Jeremy Messerly. Jeremy, how's it going? Very good, yourself? I'm doing fantastic, man. Okay, behind us is a unit that is uh, getting a lot of attention at the show. It's very popular in Eastern Canada. It is a fertilizer spreader. Tell us about the model. Yeah, so uh, the model is a ZGTS01. So it's a model that is uh, from 7,500 to uh, 10,000 liters. Okay, uh, so from a weight perspective, what is that getting us? Yeah, so it's always depending the the, 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 the density of your product. So if you if we take urea, which has a density of 70.75 to, uh, to 0.8 kilograms per liter, then we can say we have 7 to 8 tons uh, capacity in the, uh, in the hopper. Yeah. Well, when we're considering a fertilizer spreader, obviously it's the tank size that's important, but also the broadcast width. Uh, tell us about that on this model. Yes, yeah, so just like the, uh, the, the the content, well, the uh, the width will be depending on uh, on your product. So uh, to give you a, a quick idea, so with uh, urea, you know, we can go from uh, 80 to 120 feet uh, quite easily. Uh, we have some uh, very interesting technology that can allow us to uh, have a constant spread pattern and uh, to really uh, have the best distribution over the whole width. Yeah. How much uh, or how, how many horsepower and how big of a tractor do you need in front of a fertilizer spreader like this? Uh, yeah, so basically what I give a uh, customer uh, recommendation is just like pulling a 10, 15,000 um, tons uh, trailer. So obviously you need uh, a decent uh, frame. Uh, then after it's the oil requirements that we need to look after, making sure we have uh, enough oil to turn the steering of the wheels, to turn the spinner as well. Uh, but yeah, generally uh, 175 to uh, 250 horsepower, you could be uh, well suited for the machine. Well, at Agritechnica, it's all about technology and the latest innovations. I'm sure even this first fertilizer spreader has some technology on it. Tell us about it. Yes, of course. So uh, to give you a quick glance of, uh, of this machine, so uh, it has an online calibration, so it's a unique feature for, the f for a trailed fertilizer spreader. So basically every 25 kilograms that goes out of the spreader, then we recalculate uh, the uh, coefficient, uh, flow, uh, flow coefficient to make sure that we are always accurate. Uh, then in terms, if you look right here, uh, we have what we call the Argus system. So the Argus system is actually seven sensors on each spinner that are looking at the projection of the fertilizer, uh, depending the quality, depending uh, also the, uh, the, 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 the angle of the spreaders, depending if it's on hill or not, and, and also the humidity of the, of the fertilizer, it's going to realign the spread pattern to ensure that you always has have the same drawing angle mm -hmm. to ensure a consistent um, effect across the whole width. So gone are the days where you run the spreader, you're spreading urea, and then the crop comes up and you're like, oh, we did not get a consistent pattern whatsoever. Right on, right on. It's, it's you know, it's a unique fertilizer spreader. Uh, we can do even 128 section. So then with, uh, with uh, no overlap or almost no overlap. Uh, so it's very, very precise and it's the, uh, the edge of technology there for fertilizer spreader. Okay, uh, tell us a little bit about, is that is that the product where it calculates the wind speed as well and it adjusts based on the wind speed to make sure you get that consistent pattern? Yeah, so this machine can be equipped with the wind control unit. Uh, so we're still into a pre-series right now with this uh, with this uh, equipment. But of course it can be equipped and depending uh, the vector of the wind, so the direction and the force, then with the drop point we can realign this to make sure that we have an effect against the wind to ensure a consistent pattern even into some windy conditions. No, no, you're based out of Quebec. Uh, is, is Amazon bringing more and more products over to the North American and the Canadian market? Of course. So Amazon is very, very active. Uh, we have now our warehouse in, uh, located in Quebec. Uh, we have the full line of fertilizer spreader, full line of uh, seeding technology, full line of spraying technology as well, and full line of uh, soil tillage equipment. So uh, we want to be present in North America. For sure, we have a, a team of people also present with uh, dealership network. Uh, and also uh, we have some service uh, that is on-site and training on-site uh, for the dealers and for the customers. So there's a, a real willingness uh, of Amazon to be in North America. Uh, and also just by the presence uh, of the new daughter company that is now installed uh, in uh, Canada. Great stuff. Hey, Jeremy, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.